Gracing the banks of the historic Danube River lies the beautiful city of Budapest, which is in reality a combination of what was formerly two cities, Buda on the left bank of the Danube and Pest on the right as we see it here. In the past 50 years, the population of Budapest has increased from 300,000 to over a million inhabitants. And being the capital city, it supports one of the largest houses of parliament in the world. A fitting home for the government of a nation that has lived through over a thousand years of interesting history. And this reminds us that Hungary was formerly an important part of the great Austro-Hungarian Empire, which was disintegrated as a result of the last war all of which is uniquely illustrated by a floral map in Liberty Square. The section shown with light flowers represents Hungary as it is today, and the boundaries designated by red flowers shows it as it was before the Treaty of Trianon. Naturally, the people of Hungary are determined to have this treaty revised, and until it happens, they claim a flag will hang at half-mast beside the floral map in Liberty Square. One of the most colorful buildings in Budapest is the so-called storehouse of the Hungarian archives. It contains many priceless manuscripts and state documents, as well as precious examples of Hungarian art and craftsmanship. The shopping districts of Budapest are on a par with the best of those in modern cities and one may purchase here the choice products of Hungary as well as the world at large. Budapest is one of the few large cities in the world that has not yet suffered from the extreme inconveniences of traffic congestion. And this may account somewhat for the broad and dramatic gestures of the traffic policemen. of 1849 was the most important one in the history of Budapest, for it was the year in which the famous chain bridge was completed, the first of its kind in Europe, and even today it is one of the city's chief attractions. At first it was thought insufficient clearance had been allowed for the larger steamships, but an ingenious method was discovered whereby smokestacks lean backwards in humble obeisance as they pass under the bridge. Impressively situated upon a hill in the Buddhist section of the city stands the royal palace, built in the latter part of the 18th century during the reign of Queen Maria Theresa. No history of Budapest or Hungary would be complete without including a few facts about St. Stephen to the memory of whom several memorials are consecrated. About a thousand years ago, St. Stephen, who is reported to be the real founder of the Hungarian nation, was crowned by the Pope as the first Christian king of Hungary. And by this act, a country formerly under Eastern influence was brought into the fold of Western civilization. According to tradition, this church was founded by St. Stephen, and it is known today as the Coronation Church. On an artificial island stands the Museum of Agriculture, considered to be one of the best constructed buildings in Europe. Budapest is noted for its colorful outdoor restaurants, where the spirit of gaiety and hospitality mingles with the spirit of music. No 
composer has done more toward glorifying Hungarian gypsy music than Franz Liszt, one of Hungary's greatest contributions to the world's Hall of Fame. And his immortal music is like a daily prayer to the orchestras of Budapest. On Margaret's Island, there is a thermal grotto in which it is said a holy man once lived and wrought miraculous cures by bathing people in the thermal springs that are found all over Budapest. As a result, the fame of the spring spread broad and consequently Budapest has become one of the most popular watering places in the world. This is one of the largest outdoor swimming pools on Margaret's Island. And although it is kept intact by artificial walls, its water supply comes from natural springs under the floor of the pool. It is estimated that five million gallons of water flow from Budapest's numerous and variegated springs every day. There are about 80 outdoor swimming pools, and one of the most popular of them is known as St. Gellert's, where artificial waves are created by a mechanical device at the far end of the pool. And now, let there be waves. This doesn't seem to be the proper time to say farewell to beautiful Budapest. But that's just one of the hardships of world traveling for those who must always give way to the limitations of time. So now with a final glimpse of that famous river which inspired one of the world's immortal waltzes, we will conclude our impressions of beautiful Budapest and waltz away to other ports of call. Music